Mm. What's good, everybody? Mr. Boy Jay in the building. We is back again with another video. Now, before we get this video started, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all share the video. All right, man. So we have three new uh MIAC commits. I haven't done any straight MIAC commits in a while, man. So glad I, I, I get a chance to finally do some, man. Now, the first guy that we are going to get into is uh, Jaheim Coleman Fraser. Now, Jaheim here is a transfer from uh, Temple University. Uh, he's a wide receiver listed at 6 feet 165, and he is heading to Morgan State. Uh, he's from, uh, I think, uh, Sickerville, New Jersey. He, he was uh, a freshman last year. So, let's go ahead and let's check him out, man. And li listen, I literally just talked about Morgan State on the, on the top 10 just a few days ago. And I didn't know what their quarterback situation was going to be, what their offense in general was going to look like. But, hey, look like they got themselves a new target. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Mind you, he's listed at six feet. Woo! He gone. He gone. Mm, okay. What is done for? I like it. Ooh. Nice move. Okay. I like it. Where he at? Oh, deep threat. Okay, so he okay, so he he a deep threat. He I think he look like he on the left side. Nice. He got hands though. I like it. Where he at? I don't know where he at. Oh, he was wide open. I want to see what his route tree looked like. Mm, corner route, okay. I want to see what the rest of his route tree looked like. Nice curl, I like it, nice curl. I want to see what, you know. Mm. I want to see what his slants look like, what his posts look like. His comebacks, his, his outs. Okay. Nice. Nice hands, too. Nice. Okay. Okay. Good hands. Good hands. Right like in the slot. Okay. And next up, we have Dominic Howard. Now, uh, Dominic is a transfer from Tennessee Tech. He is heading to South Carolina State. He's listed at 6'3", 190. He, uh, he's from Orlando, Florida. Um, now, let me see what he finished with. He finished with 23 tackles and a sack last year. I think, I think these are his stats. I'm not sure, but... We're going to see what he got. Pretty tall up. Uh, pretty tall safety. Mm, good hit. I like it. Good hit. Okay. Good coverage. Good coverage. Good coverage. I like it. So I can last day getting a lot of talent. Mm, good defense. Where'd it be there? I like it. Good coverage right there. I like that. He ain't turned too early. He actually made, you know, 
He forced him to turn. And he picked it. Ooh. Nice hands. Okay. Mm, with a forced fumble. Okay, so we've seen a pick and a forced fumble so far. Where to come up? Mm, nice pick. Against, against Kansas. Okay. Sliding. Okay. Got more film. More film. More film. Okay. I like him already, man. I like him already. Yeah, it look like he going to fit really well with South Carolina. Uh-huh. He could have stripped the ball. He could have just punched at it if he wanted to. I'm about to say, hey, you got to go at him now. You got to go at him now. I know if he was coming to Blitzer, if he was playing his own. Last but not least, we have Julian Green. Now, Julian Green is a cornerback from Roman Catholic High School. He's part. He's entering his senior year, uh, so he's part of the class of 2023. He's from Philly. Uh, he is heading. Well, he has committed to Howard University. Uh, now, he had. Uh, he has other offers to Army and Boston College, Maine, and Columbia. University of Pennsylvania so he has a lot so he does have quite a few FBS offers so let's go ahead and check him out cornerback listed at 178 or 180 we'll round it up to 180 see what we got that's a pick give me that off to the crib come here come on to the crib come on mmm good pick though He's in a nickel. Okay. Mm. I like it. Outside. Okay. Good defense. Oh, don't call the flag on that. Come on, man. Damn. Mm. He was he was waiting on it too. He was waiting on it. Mm. What are they playing against Penn State? He had received. Oh, he the gunner. He the gunner. Oh, get it. Get down there. Why? Why would you grab the ball? Why? Okay. He's in the box. Shoot you here. Oh, you blitzing. Mmm. Them like the best plays, bruh. 
if you were a safety or a corner and you get a chance to blitz, oh yeah. Good defense. Good D. Okay. Gunner. Get down up. The same, it's the same dude. It's the same dude. Dang. Dog, it's a, you have three plays at Gunner in the same game. Dog. Yeah. That's crazy. Listen. Mm. That blitz, boy. Okay. Mm. Almost. Hold on. Let me see what he could have done. Let me see. Let me see what he could have done. Wind it back a little bit. Let me wind it back just a little bit, a little bit. Let's see what he did. Cause it looked like he was playing cover three or so, uh, it looked like. Let me see. Mm, yeah, cover three. The linebacker. If I mean, if he was playing cover, if it was cover three, then the linebacker should have been there. He was playing too far up. But if it was cover one, then. He shouldn't have been playing his back to the sideline. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Alright, we stop right here. We stop right here. So shout out. Listen. Shout out to those three gentlemen. Listen. The teams that I'm looking forward to in the MEAC is definitely, Morgan State is definitely on top of the list. I definitely want to see what Morgan State looks like the first few games, man. Because, listen, when's the last time we've seen Morgan State with a winning record? Like, when's the last time we've seen that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know South Carolina State is going to be pretty good this year. We've seen Central and, uh, and Howard with a lot of success, well, with some success so far but listen i definitely am looking forward to what how, what uh morgan state is gonna look like this year but listen shout out to these three gentlemen that's heading to their respective miac school and good luck man